Okay, fifth graders, for our last project, we are going to use photography, and we're also going to use cartoons to tell a story. I'm going to introduce you to two artists now. Um, the first artist, his name is Marty Cooper, and here's a picture of him right here creating his art. He's a digital artist and illustrator. So a digital artist just means he uses photography or videos, and an illustrator means he makes a lot of drawings. So he creates animation videos. That means he creates videos that start with a character, and he makes this character move in a certain way, and then he also uses photography to make the character move. So he takes single photographs of his character to move throughout his videos. I'm going to show you some of his videos on YouTube because he has a really awesome YouTube channel. Um, his YouTube channel is Hombre Mixtees. And just looking at some of his videos here, what he does from the very beginning, I'm going to start playing the video here. So here's him setting up his art here. So what he does is he draws his characters with a Sharpie on these sheets of plastic. And then he blocks them in with paint or sometimes whiteout. And he takes his characters and he draws a lot of different poses of that same character. And he puts those plastic sheets into different environments in his world. And he takes little tiny photographs of each of those characters. And it kind of makes the video look like it's moving. So each time he puts this character in, every time the character moves, he has to draw a new pose. So he probably draws like a hundred poses to make just one video of a character. So that's the end of his video. He has a ton of these videos on YouTube that you can check out later. Um, so let's go back to what we're going to do. I'm going to introduce you to a new artist now. So that was Marty Cooper's art. Now, Mark Mariano does something very similar to what Marty Cooper does, but something a little bit different. He's also a digital artist, so he uses photography, and he's also an illustrator, so he draws pictures. Um, but he creates books, and he uses photography to create these books. So inside of his books here, he has just single pages, and each of these pages tell a different story. So his two little characters in the book um, usually have like a speech bubble telling you and kind of directing you as to what the story is. And usually there's a photographic background. So he inserts his cartoon characters into this photograph background. And the funny thing about it is that these characters go through kind of like different stories in each page. So every time they interact with this background, it's pretty funny to see these like flat cartoon drawn characters in this real background. So that's what he does. Now, as a class, let's just discuss what are some similarities between Marty's um, art and Mark's art. So this is, again, Marty Cooper's art. He makes the videos, and this is Mark's art. So what are some similarities between the two? I'm going to let you as a class decide. Okay, now what are some diff differences between Marty and Mark's arts? And then finally, which art do you like better and why? 
Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to do class. We're going to think about Marty Cooper's art and Mark Mariano's art and then kind of combine the styles into our own projects. So you're going to brainstorm your own character or characters that you can use to tell a story, so a photographic story. So we're going to use cameras to take pictures. We will create our own characters that we can animate, so not actually take a video of, but take a series of photographic pictures. Your characters will be painted onto these plastic sheets, kind of like I'm holding up here, so that we can photograph them in different surroundings, so whether it's in the classroom or in a photograph. Your characters must be unique, so you can't take a character that you've seen on a TV show before that already exists. You have to create your own character or characters. So you will either take your series of photographs um, in the classroom using the iPads uh, and using what's around you, and that can be one of your um, photographs, or you can kind of use a photographic background. So you can see the difference between the two works of art here. This would be more like Marty Cooper's art, where he puts his character into a real environment, like a classroom. And this is more like Mark Mariano's art, where he puts his character into a photographic background. So here's what your requirements are. You have to take a, at least four photographs. So you can take more if you have time, and you have to make at least one character, but you can also make more characters if you have time. Your four photographs can be combined to tell a story, or they can be four different photographs that tell different short stories. So this one would be an example here of a student who wanted to take one character and who wanted to tell a series of a story. So their story is really simple. It's just this little minion character who's getting crushed by this shoe, and each time they take a photograph, it looks a little bit more like the minion is being crushed. So you can see how they kind of edited the character to be a little bit more squished here. So they painted two different characters. And this is a series of photographs. These photographs here are from different students who wanted to tell different stories in their pictures. And it looks like they're all using photograph backgrounds that they printed. And they're using different characters and speech bubbles to tell a story. So this is more like um, Mark Mariano's art, the books. And this is more like Marty Cooper's video art, where you can see the series of photographs. So I want you to really think about um, how your characters are interacting with the backgrounds to tell a story. And also think about humor. Um, both of our artists were showing humor in their art. They were both very funny. Um, don't just randomly place your characters. You need to think about how your final pictures are telling a story. So why is the character interacting with that background? So here's just a couple more examples of other students. And a couple more and a couple more here. Okay, so the first thing I want you to start with today is this worksheet here. And you are going to brainstorm what character or characters you want to create. And you can even do a little sketch here what settings, so either in the classroom or printed pictures, and tell me what, four what the four photographs are going to be, and tell me what each photograph is showing or telling your audience. So what story is each photograph telling? As soon as this is done, you can come get a plastic sheet from me, and you can start sketching out your characters and painting your characters, kind of similar to how I have in this picture here. So what you're actually going to start with here after you've done your brainstorming, is starting with a white blank sheet of paper and sketching your character with a Sharpie and then transferring it to the plastic sheet using the paint. Okay, let's get started. 